We start today's episode by brutally murdering a defenseless animal. Nah, I'm just kidding, we're not doing that again. Everyone, welcome back to Minecraft with Tabby! How are you doing? You good? Good. So in today's episode, we are building, we are building your comments from last episode. So I say thank you in advance because some of your suggestions have been amazing and I cannot wait to build them on this server. If I do not build your comment, do not worry, I will build it in the future. Don't worry, there's some awesome ideas I've not been able to do for time reasons, but trust me, I'll do them at some point. So this is going to be a laid back video, we're going to build all the way through, we're going to relax, we're going to talk about ideas for the series, we're going to talk about Minecraft in general, we're going to have a few montages, it's going to be a nice relaxed episode, so sit back and enjoy. Before we start, like, comment, subscribe to the channel, ask me on Instagram for my Discord server, join, it's awesome, they know when I'm going to upload way before you do, and follow me on Instagram at it's Tabby. Let's go! So before we start, I've done some things between episodes. So I have gone to the nether, I took 15 beds, I was there for an hour, and I got... You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? I got one piece of ancient debris. Oh, what a massive waste of time. But hey, at least if I ever need one piece of ancient debris, I'm sorted, eh? 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 Ah, uh, it's just not great, is it? We bred loads of cows with the wheat farm I made last episode, breeding them to absolute anything. We've got absolutely loads of cows now and loads of food. Absolutely sorted on that one. I don't get why there's a llama in here, but I'm guessing he's staying. Also, we're back to this again with the baby cow being stuck in the fence gate. What is he doing? Why does he do this? Oh, this is stressing me out now. So, moving on to the main bulk of the episode, we are going to be building. So, the first comment we're going to build is from... Papa Booty Chi, Tyler1234, and JM Blitz98, who said, Make a house for Nugget. Get him his own dog house. All comments on the screen. So, that's the first thing we're going to build. Let's go. And in typical Tarby fashion, I forgot to do the subscriber mineshaft. So, we're down in the subscriber mineshaft. We have eight more people who've liked, commented, and subscribed since last episode. I want to say a massive thank you. We're nearly on 300 subscribers now. That is brilliant. And as always, if you see your name here, you are a legend. Quite crazy actually every time i run back from the mine shaft this tunnel's just getting longer and longer i mean look how long it is guys this is amazing thank you to everyone who supports the channel remember if you want to go on it's like comment subscribe done that's it all you need to do so i had a bit of a moment of realization between episodes the automatic wheat farm it works amazing but it looks dreadful 
So, we're going to make some changes to that as part of this building episode. Just give me two minutes. Just build that, get knocked down that, put that there, put that there, 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 nearly there, ah, bingo! Ta-da! This is the new automatic wheat farm. So it's the exact same, it just looks different. We've got polished andesite, light blue stained glass in there, stone slabs on top. Makes it look a whole lot better. That chunky, horrible spruce wood just didn't do it justice. This looks so much better, and I'm really, really happy with this. Another thing I've been doing, I've been going around the path, and I've been changing a few of the blocks for, like, chiseled stone brick and andesite, just to make it a bit more... What's the word I'm looking for? Textured, yeah, a bit more textured. Let's go with that. Also, you know how much we love Baracko Llama. Another llama decided to sit in there, and I just couldn't let him go. He was just chilling there, no lead or anything, so everyone welcome Michelle O'Llama. Win our Barack and Michelle O'Llama. Here they are. The next build was suggested by Minecraft Fanatic, who said you should build a bit of scenery around the path to bring it to life. And you're quite right, so that's what we're going to do. So now that we've done that, we need to nip to the nether to get some resources for our next build. And while I'm here, just some advice, cooked pork chops is the way forward. Hoglins offer a serious amount of cooked pork chops if you kill them with a looting sword. Kill them with a looting fire aspect sword, trust me, you'll love it. Honestly, I'm eating pork chops out of pork chops at the moment because it's just so easy. I never portal brings out in the Crimson Forest and there's just hoglins absolutely everywhere. And half the time the piglins will kill them for you anyway. So yeah, there's your tip of the day. So the next build in the video comes from MicklePickle89, who says the nether portal looks out of place. You should make the nether portal look like it's infecting your world. Maybe add little nether trees. Yeah, brilliant idea. That's exactly what we're going to do. In fact, the idea was that good. Zombiecraft backed it up and said definitely need to do something with that nether portal. And I completely agree. We're going to change the way the nether portal looks and we're going to build a little area around it. Even Cosmic Entertainment said a cool portal frame. And while we do that, we're going to talk about which mob is the hardest in Minecraft. Let's start the discussion. So in terms of the hardest mob on Minecraft, there's a clear name that comes to mind, isn't there? So obviously the hardest mob on Minecraft is a slime. So the slime is probably the hardest mob you're ever going to face. It's going to jump on you, it's going to suffocate you. It's going to split into about 16 different other slimes. It's going to murder you in broad daylight. Yeah, the slime is obviously the hardest mob on the game. Okay, so as you know, I was probably joking. The hardest mob is obviously the wither by a country mile. On Java, yeah, it's probably quite easy because you can trap it. But on Bedrock, you've not got a chance. You have to face that guy legit. Honestly, it's so difficult. But putting the wither and the ender dragon aside, I'm going to be looking into which other mob tends to be the hardest in the game. Personally, I think one of the hardest mobs on the game is the witch. Now, hear me out here. The witch can heal itself it can poison you it can drop you it, the witch is pretty overpowered to be honest every time i face a witch you've probably seen i'm hitting it from distance i'm going nowhere near it because it's just not worth it you don't know what that witch is carrying and that's why i think it's one of the harder mobs on game because unlike zombies and skeletons you can predict what he's going to do but with a witch you can't so it has that unpredictability about it another shout for the hardest mob on the game is the ravager so the ravager obviously is big it's strong it deals a lot of damage whenever i do a raid i'm stood on top of a pole using my bow and axe i'm going nowhere near one of them things which i suppose because it only spawns in raids makes it not the hardest mob on the game just due to the fact it's not there all the time whereas witches can spawn whenever in that sort of regard but i still think ravagers are extremely difficult and on the topic of ravagers i mean what even are evokers? I mean, that is literally the only reason I can't get away with just bow and arrow in all the way through a raid. These guys are summoning little vexes to come and get me. They're attacking me with teeth through the ground. I mean, that is evil. It is so cool, though, but it's so evil. Evokers are hard, very hard, and you're too scared to go anywhere near them, or in fact go anywhere within a 100 block radius just in case they get you. So yeah, there's a very, very, very strong shout for an evoker being the hardest mob on the game. On the topic of evokers though, don't you think illusioners should be part of the game? I mean, they are in the game, but shouldn't they be like a hostile mob? So for those who don't know, an illusioner is similar to a pillager. It attacks you with a bow, but it does have the ability to cause blindness and summon duplicates of itself while actually being invisible. So yeah, that is stupidly cool. Why is this not added into the game permanently? Anyway, we're going off topic there. 
Another mob which is extremely hard, Vindicator. Now they're very easy to kill, but boy, if they hit you twice, I think you're dead. They are hard. They're the reason you see people making automatic farms with a Vindicator going around killing everything. They are mental. Like I say, they're easy to kill and they're easy to trap, but if they're hitting you, they're very hard. I mean, if I guess we're talking about mobs in general, one of the hardest mobs is definitely an iron golem. Are you aware how long them things take to kill just to get a little bit of iron? It's ridiculous. I mean, iron golems literally protect villages all by themselves half the time, so yeah, they're, they're going to be up there among the hardest mobs. I don't know whether everyone will agree with this, but I personally think guardians are very tough when you go to an ocean monument. I mean, it might be the fact that there's about 50 of them, but genuinely, they are so difficult to take down unless you've got a trident. Honestly, if you go to an ocean monument, please take a trident. It's just not worth it without. And guardians, what they can do to you is stupid, so they're going to go up there as one of the hardest mobs. Oh, I've only just remembered about a certain type of mob. Yep, yep, this mob is probably the hardest non-boss mob on the game. Yep, forget everything I've said. Oh, thinking back on episode 7, I just can't do it. I hate wither skeletons. Oh my days, wither skeletons. Holy moly, I cannot wait until I get a wither skeleton farm in this series and I can watch them die over and over and over again. Yeah, this got a bit deep, but honestly, wither skeletons are extremely difficult and are very, very, very hard. Especially when you die and they take all your diamond armor. Woohoo, lucky you. So let me know in the comments what do you think the hardest non-boss mob is on the game. Let's get back to the video. So the next build we're going to do is inspired by Mod is one and James Smith who say you should build a fishing hut. But James Smith had to take it to the next level and said get a fisherman villager in it. <laughs> oh he's on fire. Yeah let's crack on with that then. Just waiting here for you I just want your presence You got me feeling blue And Don't keep me waiting Don't leave me in this way you Got me going crazy And I don't wanna wait I just wanna make you see
Well, it wouldn't be a Minecraft Atabi episode if I didn't say this. That went better than expected. So we got quite lucky in the way that we made a zombie villager into a villager and then we made a path over to the fisherman hut and the converted villager actually took it upon himself to walk across the path without us putting him in a minecart or anything so that was really really cool it was like it was just destined to be anyway this is our fisherman in the fisher hut he's called van dam named after the famous van dam fisherman and now we're going to go do some fishing but first we need a fishing rod so we're going to level 30 oh only in breaking free oh hallelujah for that it's not look at c3 and law 3 it's look at c2 and law 2 but it's a lot better than just unbreaking free on its own and then every good fishing rod needs mending so there's two reasons why i wanted to go fishing one is because i need fish for next episode because next episode we're going to go and find a jungle and we're going to get some cats mark was mentioned getting a load of cats in to scare away creepers at front of the house great idea i love it and the second reason is because i wanted to talk about future builds so you may have noticed we've got a mage tower for a wizard or a librarian who sells mending we've got a fisherman hut for a fisherman the plan with the series moving forward is to build a structure for each type of villager. So, I need a structure for a armourer, a butcher, a cartographer, a cleric, a farmer, a fletcher, a leather worker, a stonemason, a shepherd, a toolsmith and a weaponsmith. We need a structure for every single one of them. Which rolls us on to today's question of the day. Help me think of a structure for each one of them villagers. It won't be next episode, but it'll be in the future, and I need your help, so please let me know in the comment section. So, let's recap exactly what we did in this episode. So, moving on straight to next to our house, we built a dog house for Nugget. A little dog house for our little Nugget. He's going to love it in there. It's nice and comfy. He's got his bone, he's got his food. And then we go around the garden we built in episode 12 all the way we've improved our automatic wheat farm we've made it nice and colorful made it look like a greenhouse in there it's awesome a lot better than it was looking nice and chunky and we go through the garden which is awesome all the way down the path and then we've got a new path now coming off to the left which takes us to our new nether portal We've got a tree over there, and we've got an awesome looking nether portal. It looks absolutely amazing. I really like how I've done that. I love the area around it with all the plants. It looks like an overgrown. It's like we're getting overwhelmed in nether. Any improvements, just let me know for any of these things. We built this tree here as a kind of intersection just to split it up, just to add a bit of scenery to the landscape. I like that as well. I like how big the tree is. Big fan. It's also got a light in, so it lights up at night. And then we go down the bridge. Next to the mage tower, over the water, there is our fisherman's hut. I'm really happy with the builds you made in this episode, and I couldn't have done them without you guys and your suggestions, so thank you so much. But that is all we have time for in this episode. I hope you've enjoyed a different type of episode, guys, and me building your comments. I really appreciate all your comments, and if your comment wasn't built in this episode, trust me, it will be built in the future. I saw a lot of people mentioning a lab. Trust me, that will be built in a future episode when we build a massive potion lab. And I'll make sure to remember you then. I hope you've enjoyed another episode of Minecraft with Tabby. And I hope you like, comment and subscribe to the channel. I'll put you on the mind shaft and you'll be a value part of the community. If you want to talk to me, message me on Instagram at It's Tabby. Link will be in the description. If you want to join our Discord and talk to everyone else who's part of the channel, then please let me know. One of us will send you a link. But for now, guys, hope you all have a good day. See ya. Bye-bye.